Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Ducks Quack Show. This is our second show of the off season. Overall, it's Ducks Quack Show number <clears throat> 17. We're going to have a kind of a defensive flavor in, uh, in this one. We got a, a defenseman who joined the Ducks uh, midseason and one of our new future players, both uh, blue liners. And of course, as usual, we'll start out with uh, head coach Sean Falzone. Welcome, Sean. Uh, glad you can make it again. Thank you very much. And also here is uh, Colin March, an 03. Ducks fans may remember him from the uh, home stretch of the season. He's a native of Richmond, Illinois. He played the final 17 games of the regular season. Uh, welcome, Colin. Thanks for having me. And another signee from our Ducks Futures camp, uh, an 05 who came all the way from Vista, California to uh, test his wares with the Dallas Ducks, Jack Kopstein, an 05. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, Coach, it is interesting that we have a couple defensemen on here today. Uh, you know, we've talked about how we're going to move the bar up, obviously, a little bit higher next season. Uh, there's a lot of things that, uh, you know, obviously we need to improve just based on our record. But uh, I think the key thing is, you know, most successful teams are built from the back to the front. Uh, and probably the biggest area that we need to address is uh, playing our own end, right? Yeah, it's the biggest area that we took a, a beating on this year from uh... – the shots against to the play in our own zone. Right. So, Yeah. And uh, Colin, uh, what did he bring to the team down the stretch drive? Did he, did he help out a lot in that area? Yeah. Getting Colin was a great addition to the team. He brought in size. He brought in the emotion of the game. I mean, this Colin's amazing because he can use the emotion in the game and he uses it for his uh, ability to play better. And from there it goes, it just, it just expands. You know, we only got him the last couple months, but we wish we'd have had him for the whole season. Right. And uh, having him back is a huge plus for all of us. And I know all the guys, especially Anthony and uh, and the returners, are excited to have him back. So, yeah. We had games where we looked really good on on defense. On the games that we won, uh, including the one on home ice against Rum River. Uh, I thought we we played well in our own end. We got the saves we needed, and we also uh, moved the puck out well. So the 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 the, uh, the skill is there. It's just a matter of bringing it out, I guess. Yeah, I think the last year the biggest issue was just uh, we didn't we didn't fill the defensive side up right away. As you can see, I, I've changed the uh, the recruiting process here, and I'm picking up defense up out from the start. Um, you know, that was my, my big part of this season is to make sure that we have enough D back there and a strong D and that we can start competing from the back end forward, you know, getting Anthony to sign back and then getting Colin back here. And, you know, we're excited about it. I think it's going to start being a, a good addition and adding players like Jack here. And, and uh, you know, we got a couple other ones that are coming through to work here that we're excited to get in here soon. And I think that'll be a big plus for the program and plus for our team to start uh uh, getting the puck out of our zone quicker and, and making more of it so we're in their zone more time than ours. Yeah, that's a good point. And, you know, I've been with the team now. This is uh, – we've been here for 10 years, and I can say almost every offseason, defense is always the toughest uh, thing <laughs> to get. I guess people hold on to those, like, uh, gems when they when they find them. And it, it, we're lucky enough to uh, get a diamond in the rough in uh, Jack from California. So that's a, that's a good start for sure. Yeah, I like to say if you're a future player, make sure you start becoming a defenseman because those are the ones that are you're always wanted. You, you're very high, uh, yeah. high sought after for sure. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Colin, uh, what what was the toughest thing to get used to uh, when you joined the Ducks? You came from a, from a AAA or AA organization or something like that, right? I actually came out of high school. Oh, um, okay. The toughest thing for me to get used to was the size and the speed of the players. Compared to my high school, it was a lot quicker pace and a lot quicker decision-making. 
and the size of the players overall made it a lot tougher. So it was definitely something that was challenging to get used to, but I feel like after a couple of games, I was pretty comfortable. Yeah, I, I really find that that's the biggest thing uh, where, the, where the problems come is on like on a dump and chase or something where you're racing back to get the puck and you kind of have to make that quick decision. Uh, what is the key to something like that? Um, really, it just takes a lot of um, quick thinking and I would say planning what you're going to do before you actually get to the puck. Okay. Um, it definitely had a lot to do with um, predicting what you think was going to happen with a play before you actually made it. So right. it was a lot of, um, a lot of poise involved okay. in that. So do you, I'm just wondering like in a in game kind of thing, do you talk to the forwards and stuff? And so you sort of know where to throw it when you, when you do get it, if you have to make a real quick decision. Yeah. So most of the time before our face-offs, we would always talk to the forwards and tell them like if they want us to make a bank pass off the boards to break out, or if they want us to wrap it, um, just depending on what the forwards want us to do and where they were going to win the draw. Okay. And who were you partnered with mostly in the, uh, in the, or did it, did it really move around a lot? So I, I was mainly with uh, John Ergo. Me and him were okay. pretty good buddies throughout the season and, I enjoyed playing with him. We had pretty good. Uh, um, we had a pretty good matchup together. I felt like we worked well together. Um, so it was just mainly him most of the time. Yeah, that's a good guy to to be uh, partnered with as a younger defenseman because he's a he's a pretty stable defenseman. He's not super flashy, but his best uh, his best attributes I think are in our end. Yeah, I think uh, it worked out well because he liked to take the puck up a little more than I did. I'm more of a stay at home type of guy. So it worked out where I could cover for him and he would go up and just worked out well. Yeah. I'm interested. Uh, I know you said you were, you played at the high school level this year and I know Illinois was an area that was, uh, they had some pretty strict rules uh, yeah. in the past. Uh, you know, it, it varied from state to state, um, but Illinois did have some pretty strict rules. Uh when you when you came into our team, were you a little bit green uh, as far as how much you'd played this year? So I actually hadn't played a game since uh, March of 2020 before I joined <laughs> the Ducks. So I had okay. a nine month break with no games played and very little skating. Um, and so when I was brought onto the team to try out like at their practice and see how I would fit in. Um, I would say I was able to perform at a higher level because of having those nine months off. Like I had no problems at all because I was just fully refreshed, but it was definitely a little harder to get back into that game speed. Yeah. Yeah. And what about, uh, just the, just the, the sort of uh, level of play you have to play at for 60 minutes. Was it, uh, kind of hard to get to the finish line on a few nights? Yeah, that was another thing. So in our high school games, we only had 14-minute periods, whereas moving up to those 20-minute periods, it definitely took a toll on the exhaustion factor. And that was definitely something to get used to. But overall, it definitely benefited me in the long run. Yeah, yeah, it definitely did. Coach, I'm assuming that, uh, I mean, as, as much as you wanted to get uh, Colin in the lineup as much as possible, you had to kind of ease him in at first, I suppose, because of that. Yeah, and we knew he was he was off for a while. Yeah. It was funny because you watch him from game one where he was getting his legs back and, and trying to get used to the speed and the size. And you're you're you, we just watched him carefully and we yeah, he was a little less shifts than he ended off with the end of the season there, but he picked it up really fast. He was a player that we got really impressed with because as the games kept going on, like even let me change it, as the periods were going on. He was getting his legs back faster and faster and all sides became a bigger asset to the team. Yeah. I think he was like three or four games in and then he was a big, you know, we jumped in there and kept him in there and he played a lot more shifts after that. Yeah. Well, you can't, you know, one thing for sure on our team this year, you're going to definitely get your workout playing defense uh, on our team. Yeah. But, you know, and that's the, that's the nice thing too. It's only a short little span, 17 games, but it just bodes well for, for him starting in September, he will, he, yeah, I know you were talking about it takes so many games to be a veteran, but he really will be a veteran having, having gone through that stuff and it's going to pay off, I think. Oh yeah. He's a, he's a player that can lead by example. And uh, you know, he, he, he's a talkative kid. He likes to have fun and he's out there, but I think he's a guy that can show, Hey, 
look at me. This is how I want to work. And I want everybody else to work around me the same way. And like, for instance, having him with Ergo was a great, great thing for both of them. I yeah. mean, they were inseparable after the season kept going on and uh, they worked really well together. And that's the two guys that are, you know, the guys that can lead by example. And, and I think he'll be a great, well, he's going to be a great addition to have back in the program and help out with the, the younger players like Jack here. Yeah, that's great. So I'm going to move on to Jack, but I have one more question for Call, and I just was curious. I know you were up uh, last weekend as well. What was your impression of the camp and just sort of the talent level that was there? Yeah, the camp uh, actually had a really good time seeing everybody, meeting new people. Um, yeah. It was a lot of fun. I thought the games went pretty well. Everyone seemed to have a really good time. Skill level was pretty good. Um, there was a good amount of kids that stood out, and – um, I felt like it was a good experience for kids maybe looking to come into juniors later on in their careers. Yeah, right. Yeah, I thought uh, the chemistry, you know, gets started a little bit earlier. And it was it, it's a good way for the for the uh, newcomers like Jack, say, just to see what it's like to, to play at that level. Yeah. Uh, Jack, uh, what was it that uh, sort of brought your interest to the Ducks? Uh, just geographically, it's really far away. What was it that attracted you? Just that I want to move on to junior hockey. I did some research, and we found that you guys were having a camp and decided to come out. And it, was, uh, it ended up working out. Yeah. So what was the uh, – did was there any difficulty in sort of getting used to the pace or anything like that at all? Uh, I think it was a little difficult just because – Obviously, I'm uh, still young, and yeah, those people are three years, four years older than me, and the speed of the game will just have to get used to it. Yeah, yeah. Um, and you're out of the uh, Anaheim uh, AAA, right? Am I right? That's the organization you played for? Yeah, I, I uh, played for high school hockey as well. Oh, okay. We uh, I was on a high school team called J. Sarah. We actually just got back from Vegas, which was pretty interesting. And being with that high school team and seeing the the game out in Wisconsin, it's it's different and the speed is massively different. Okay. You uh you played at the, what year are you in high school? I'm a sophomore. Oh boy, okay. Um so, and did you get to see any of our, like, we do have a division out in the Pacific as well. Did you get to see any of the, uh, you're close to San Diego, am I right? Yes. Did you get to see any of the Sabres games over the uh, No, season? I haven't really had the time to do that because of all the hockey that I've been doing. And. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I never thought of that. That's uh being uh, with the uh, Ducks organization, I'm sure they had a lot of travel and stuff on weekends and things, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, so what are the areas that uh, that you sort of uh, thought that you were comfortable and what are the areas that you kind of feel like maybe you need to work on a little bit before September? Uh, I'm very comfortable with the defensive zone and below Good. the goal line battles and front of the net battles and just getting it out of the zone. Uh, I feel like the neutral zone and just grinding that puck and trying to dump it in and just make a play with the puck. Okay. And coach, was that what you saw too? He was really good at puck moving and uh, we're making that, uh, carrying it out of his own end. Yeah. Uh, his biggest thing for me was he saw the ice pretty well. Like he, oh, good. He was able to get to the position before the puck was moving there, so he read it well. Um, that's where he stood out towards me when I first watched him play, and um, he happened to be on Anthony's team over there. So, you know, I wanted to see how he played in front of them, and he, he was he was moved well. He got to – you know, there's a few things that we know we got to work on with him, but overall, if he can keep that the knowledge of the game and, and the hockey sense that he had, he's going to be a, a great addition to the program there, so we're excited about it. Good. Now, Jack, have you committed to uh, play for the Ducks next year already? Uh, yes. Oh, that's great. Uh, so uh, are you looking forward to uh, spending a year in the Midwest? You're going to have to deal with a little bit of snow and stuff like that. 
Yeah, I'm looking uh, very excited, mainly uh, for the ice time that I'm going to get. I'm not going to get as much ice time okay. here as I'm going to get it there. So, yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's a it's a bit of a steep uh, learning curve, I suppose, for an 05. It's uh, you know, it gives you a lot of time to kind of you know slide in. Uh, we've had uh, we had 04s this year, so I guess it wouldn't be that different having an 05 next year. Um, one. So. We only have one 04, just uh, Thomas well, Howell. That's, that's right. He was too, defense yeah. too. Uh, yeah, and he was. A, yeah, he he started to become a regular on the blue line over the course of the season too. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, so uh, have you uh, been? Have you had time like spent time with with a billet parent or anything like that, Jack? never okay yeah it's a fun experience i think it's interesting and you're obviously uh committed to the hockey lifestyle having uh you know done it for the last couple of years in triple a so uh welcome aboard it's gonna be great having you thank you um i wanted to uh talk about one of our players who's going to be aging out this year and it's fitting that it's uh with these guys maybe Colin can make a comment or two about this uh you know, we didn't really have awards for players or anything this year, but over the last, say, two months of the season, I really thought our most reliable guy was a uh, defenseman from Saskatchewan, Kanan <clears throat> Rogers. He, uh, you know, we, we did, we've talked a lot about our troubles in our own end, but he was one guy I thought that really, put a lot of the weight on his own shoulders. He was very physical. He It's funny because he had a very cool demeanor, but he played like he was really PO'd all the time. He really loved hammering guys into the wall, uh, but he was also a really good puck mover, and uh, we're really going to miss him. I don't know. What did, what were your impressions of uh, Kanan, Colin? Yeah, I really liked Kanan. He was more of a quiet, laid-back guy, but yeah. when you did talk to him per, like face-to-face, -face, he was willing to have a conversation. Really nice guy. Um, <clears throat> uh, overall, just chill, good teammate. I enjoyed him a lot. Really led by example, too. I remember one time we were up in Hudson. I don't know if you were with us then or not. We were in Hudson for a game, and uh, I think he got his shoulder separated or something in that game. He's had a pretty pretty – decent injury uh it wasn't just like a bruise or anything and he was sitting there and somebody told me that he had separated his shoulder and i went down and uh, he was just sitting there and i said do you need ice or anything he's like oh no he's just watching the game he was a yep. pretty tough kid a typical uh, saskatchewan <laughs> slash montana kid i think what did you, what were your impressions uh coach yes he was definitely a strong a strong kid on the ice yeah he had a wicked slap shot from the point um, yeah we would say he's a three out of four game player. Three games he'll play amazing. One game he'll just play like crap. And the problem <laughs> was you couldn't tell what game it was going to be. Uh, but every game he went out there, he gave it his all. And, you know, he's a player that could uh, click in that one timer and put it away. And at the same time, he's a kid that just, yeah, he never said much, but he played hard. And he he uh, he showed his, uh, his attitude on the ice, and that is what we needed from him. Yeah, definitely going to miss him. Uh, no news yet on any commitment uh, from him yet, but uh, he is going to help a program somewhere. I just know it. Yeah, oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, so I, I guess that's really, that's about all I have. Coach, did you have any announcements or anything you want to make? No, I just want to say hi to Kirby over here, jumping on. Hi, Kirby. How oh, are you, Kirby. buddy? Oh, good. Yeah, let's get uh, Aaron. Can you over. hear me? Can yep, you hear me? Got you. You're yeah. good. Yeah, sorry about that. I got two birthday parties going on right now, and it's crazy. So I could have used Colin to help rent, uh, hand out skates. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good to have you, Kirby. We we knew that uh, you were going to be pretty busy, but uh, appreciate you taking a few minutes to to slide in. Um, it's always good to see my double chin. <laughs> I was going to – I'm glad you're here because we were just talking. I don't know if you heard we were talking about Kane and uh, who I – you know, I kind of thought that he was our probably our most valuable player <laughs> – down the stretch of the season. He really was fun to watch, wasn't he, in our home games? You know, it's funny. Is last year when he was here for that uh, short time, Yeah, I, I, I didn't, even, <laughs> didn't even know him. Didn't even yeah. know the name. Uh, when he came back this year, he didn't look familiar to me. He just kind of blended in last year. 
Uh, this year he was, he was exactly like Colin said, he was just kind of like that quiet, that quiet presence, that quiet yeah. leader in the locker room. And, and uh, you know, he just kind of sat in the shadows and he, he, he was a good observer. He, you could tell no matter if he was on the ice or off the ice, he was, oh, that he was always thinking something was moving. So he, like you said, Jimmy, I, I totally hundred percent agree. Um, without a doubt, he can help a program. Yeah, no, I definitely think so. And I don't know uh, when you jumped on that we got some good news. So uh, Aaron Colin, who you see sitting here, he works with you, as you said, he has committed to return next year. He's an 03 and Jack Kopstein uh, is our newest addition. I don't know if you uh, got a chance to meet him last weekend, but uh, he has committed to join. He's an 05 from California. So the defense is starting to look a little bit better already. Oh, that's good. That's good. Jack, welcome aboard. And uh, I, uh, without a doubt, I know you're going to have uh, a really good experience here. So, Thank you. Um, you know, it was a don't don't look at last year's score. I've been around Ducks hockey since day one. And this last year was a complete uh, <laughs> I, a conundrum. It was a complete cluster. You know, when you got OHL guys playing in tier three hockey, oh, yeah. something's not uh, – clicking so this this last team was was uh, a 500 team for sure in a, in a normal typical year so and it's only going to get better next year so welcome aboard a um, lot more freedoms here in Wisconsin than you have there you can uh, hopefully enjoy a lot more uh, of your teenage years rather than being stuck inside <laughs> uh, welcome yeah. aboard I am looking forward to it good deal yeah, I really hope that by September things are back to normal. You got to think they will be at this point, though. Uh, so I guess that's that's it. Oh, uh, Aaron, did you want to talk? Uh, what's the status on your uh, on your tournament there at the end of the season? Did you get the numbers that you wanted for that? Yep, Ice Wars is sold out. Oh wow! Yeah. So we got sixty squirts and sixty peewees coming in. Um, we've got the coaches selected, so we got. Uh, on ice evaluations uh, next Friday with the draft immediately following. So the kids will be drafted, uh, not knowing what team they're going to be on, but it'll be either team army, team Navy, Navy, air force, or Marine. So it should be a good time. What is the local involvement in that? Is there any local kids that signed up? Uh, yeah. RWD's probably got uh, nine kids. Oh, good. Um, you know, coaches, we, uh, we got Neil Matson, uh, okay. Jeremy Greenwood, Jesse Greenwood, Mike Olson, um we Mike got Olson. Uh, Mike Olson yeah we he's got, a coach up in uh, the lacrosse area now too yeah yep. and then we got uh, uh Nate uh, Wilcox is a, a, a squirt coach he's going to be teamed up with Joel Minsky Billy Oaks um oh Bo, that's a good group Oh Bingham and uh uh I forget the first name but last name Sutton down from the Sun Prairie uh, organization so oh great yeah, that's going to be a great weekend. I'm so happy that uh, that it got sold out, and it's just going to get bigger and better, I think. And and we'll have a Ducks presence, too. We've got uh, Coach Rody coming up to run the evaluations. I sweet-talked him today, so he's going to make the trip next Friday and uh, run the on-ice evaluation end of it, and hopefully we can uh, pick his brain and figure out what's going on in that redhead head of his. So. Yeah. yeah, he's usually pretty good at sharing that info. All right. Well, I, I want to thank everybody again, Jack, Colin, for coming out, Coach Falzone, Kirby, thanks again uh, for jumping in. And I'm sorry to drag you away from those parties, but uh, we, your uh, presence is always very valuable to these uh, to these uh, sessions. Uh, well, it's good. It's a Ukrainian group, so they've already uh, force-fed me three beers, and I need it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we'll probably be back in a week or so. And uh, we'll probably, uh, hopefully, we'll be introducing a, a new player or two and maybe talking to somebody else. Uh, thanks, everybody, for joining in today. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Colin, behave. No, I will. All right. <laughs>